don't think I actually consciously made the decision, but I started doing art probably when I was about seven, as long as I can remember actually. So as a child, that was my way, I think, of just going into my inner world. It was the way I processed everything. And yeah, it just really calmed me down. But probably rolling forward from that, I would say I really got into my painting when I was about 28. Initially when I started painting, it was very much linked to how I was living at the time. So I was a flight attendant for Qantas. So I was obviously doing a lot of flying in a plane. In doing so, like I just looked on the countryside and, and the abstract like um, patterns that I got from just the landscape really. So I started getting ideas for more of an abstract feel for like big landscapes rather than doing a landscape on how it looks normally. It was like the above ground, like above version of that. So it was more the textures and patterns that I was concentrating on and because my background sort of started with design more than anything and it just sort of grew from there. Um, but now I've come back to my art, I find again it's what I'm involved in, like with my work. So I suppose my work really sort of um, leads me into what I start creating. So I'm doing a lot of um, kinesiology, I do a lot of healings, I run groups like with art therapy and so I'm dealing a lot with energy and spirit and things like that. So my artwork now is more or less being channeled in that way. Yeah. So again, it's actually going back more to design rather than what things look like in the, you know, in our world, so to speak. My father was a big influence for me. Um, he, he probably introduced me to drawing and painting. He had an artistic background and I can remember as a, a child in my bedroom he ended up doing this massive mural on my wall so it was something that I don't know I can just always remember that whenever I drew anything or painted anything I'd always take it to him so he had a, he had a really good eye. I really don't like segregating myself to a room or a location where I'm away from everyone for some reason I just like to be I feel like it's all going to be happening around and are happening around me so the fridge if I want to go to the fridge it's right there if I want to put music on it's just really easy I don't really have a studio as such and it, it, it changes where I work a lot of my work is actually on the floor and some of it is actually on by easel it, it changes depending on the artwork my lounge room just kind of converts to a studio really mm. it's like I don't plan it that's something that I'm not planning at the moment so I'm doing a lot of mandala work and I start with the, the middle piece and it's more just an unconscious intuitive response where I start from there and I will build from that so it's layered out. It's for meditation purposes and the artworks that I'm doing at the moment are more centred around people, um, people's healing, like uh, individual and collective healing. Um, mandalas have been used for meditation as I said and um, shifting of consciousness so there's something in that for me where I just allow the process to take place and it, at times I just sort of step back and see where it's at and I'm kind of curious myself where it's going.